Aloha Ohana, Pastor Limomilani here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and beautiful blessed day because it is and the Lord has made this day. The Lord has blessed you. You open your eye today. We want to give praises and worship and we worship how we worship in truth and in spirit. We speak to the Lord. We give it all to the Lord. We pour it out to him knowing that he is the one who made the way for us. Knowing that he is the one who has blessed us with another day, another day, another opportunity to be a blessing, not only to your ohana, but to everyone that you may encounter today. Amen. Smile, smile, give God all the praises. Let everyone know that Jesus Christ is the one who made the way for us. Let everyone know that Jesus Christ is the one who has instilled freedom, true peace, his love and his grace deep within your heart. Amen. Amen. So we're going to be talking about our heart today. Amen. And who knows it better than we do? Who knows it better than all the people who stay pointing fingers at you? Who knows it better than your own parents? Who knows it better than all your friends you knew from way back when on Hanabara days? Okay. Who knows your heart truly better than you? Jesus Christ. He is the one who searches your heart. Amen. And I've said this and I feel like I, I repetitive, repetitively keep saying this, but guess what? When the Holy Spirit gives you something to share, you share and you deliver them in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. And there's a reason why, there's a reason why when the Holy Spirit gives you something, it's not only for you to share, but it's something for you to take in as well. So when I share with you guys, I am also being ministered by the Holy Spirit as well. Praise God. Okay. We will go ahead and welcome the Holy Spirit in. We will, we will say a prayer real quick. Okay, guys. Join me, Ohana. And thank you so much, Ohana, for being here with me. Praise God. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much, Lord, for this beautiful, blessed day, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all that you do, Lord. Even for the little things, Lord, that we that go right over our head, Lord. Lord, let us catch everything, Lord. Let us see everything, Lord, that you have been showing us, but we have been not looking. We haven't been looking, Lord, in the direction, Lord, that you have set for us to be looking and pushing forward and pressing forward to, Lord. Help us to deliver, Lord, everything and anything, Lord, that you have in your will and your, your plans for us in this mighty, beautiful, blessed day that you have created. Lord, let nothing go over our head, Lord. Let nothing passes us, passes us by, Lord, that we do not see and recognize it to be you, Lord. And all the things that is not of your essence, Lord, we pray and we ask, Lord, and we lift it up to you, Lord, that we will not get energetically tied to it, Lord, that we will lift it up to you, Lord, if we become aware of it. And Lord, we'll lift up praises of thanksgiving, Lord, to you, Heavenly Father, Lord. And we welcome the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us through, Lord, not only in this message, not only in this prayer, but, but then throughout this beautiful, blessed day, Lord, lead us and guide us through, Lord, and we thank you. Lord, I pray for blessings upon blessings upon the those who are listening to the sound of my voice, Lord. Lord Jesus, have your way with us, Lord. Take the will. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your true peace. And we know, Jesus, that there is freedom in your name. And we know, Lord, that you are the one who searches our heart. We know that you are the one, Lord, that dwells in our heart, Lord. And we know, Lord, that your, th your ways and your thoughts and the way you move, Lord, is not the way that we move, Lord. For your ways are higher than ours, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you do, Lord. And I pray for blessings upon those who are listening and that those are in agreement with me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we bless your name, Lord. And I lift you up, Lord. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Okay, Ohana. Okay. So I, we're going to read um, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9 and 10. Okay. It is written. Excuse me. It is written. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? The Lord. The Lord knows it. That's where the Lord look. That's where the Lord searches. That's where the Lord dwells is in your heart. The Lord searches your heart. Okay. The Lord is not concerned about titles. 
The Lord is not concerned if you're a good person. The Lord is not concerned if you give, 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 and you keep on giving, but you ain't got um, charity, okay? And what that means is God kind of love, okay? If you're giving from your heart or you're giving from a place of you want something in return, you guys know what I'm talking about. And it says right here in scripture, it is written, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Why do you think that's where the Lord searches? He don't look at your thoughts. Why? Because your thoughts start from here. The things you say start from here. Okay? Everything starts from right in here. And why do you think the Lord searches your heart? Because the heart is desperately wicked. Okay? So if you're thinking in your mind, your carnal mind, Oh, I'm a good person because I help this person. I do this and I do that. But then yet... You taking on a credit, you don't know who Jesus Christ is. You don't know who is your Lord and your Savior. You take all the glory and then you get prideful. Why do you think the Lord searches the heart? Because above all things and desperately, above all things and desperately, the heart is deceitful and wicked. Praise God he searches our heart. Praise God. I'm grateful. Number one, I'm grateful. One, Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Two, I'm grateful that he does search my heart. Because if he was to look on the outside, like the Pharisees, the Pharisees, they look on the outside. Someone's appearance, appearance and the way they carry themselves. So if someone came in lowly, meaning they look, um, you could tell they live off the street. So you could tell that they don't have the means to take care of themselves. They're, they're poor in the worldly sense but they're rich in spirit because the pharisees they looked on the outward appearance okay they just wanted you for give 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 and they were there over there taking 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 and they would put you down if you never have proper offerings what jesus so i'm gonna tell you guys right now what jesus christ already done on the cross in calvary he went offer and sacrifice himself for you me and for everyone the world he went sacrifice himself so he could bore our sins okay so what so we could be transformed okay so we could be transformed so we could be saved so we could come straight and correct with our Heavenly Father in the kingdom of heaven so we can turn around and go right back to our Heavenly Father where we belong in the mighty name of Jesus okay so I'm gonna tell you right now all your pain, all your suffering, your sadness, your sorrow, every finger that's been ever been pointing at your life, your oppressors, the people that put you down, the people who've been literally ripping the clothes off of your body and having their way with you, oh, give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus because he doesn't want you to bear that no more. Because of what he has done in Calvary was for you. Amen. Was for you. So therefore, you will not suffer no more. For you will be set free. For you will not be conformed to this world. For you will be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, the Lord is bringing healing in this hour. Holy Spirit, have your way with us. Holy Spirit, give them the strength, Lord. Give them the strength and the confidence, Lord. Because we know where our help comes from. And our help comes from the Lord. Oh yes, yes. Seek refuge in the shadow of the Almighty. For your identity is in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Deliver them, Lord, in this hour. Deliver them, Lord, from whatever they may be going through, Lord. For the hurt and the pain, Lord, we know, we know, we don't need to carry that burden no more, Jesus. But what the Lord wants you to do is to carry your cross each and every single day. What does that mean is to carry your cross? Carry your crosses to die to your flesh, okay? To turn away from your old sinful ways, okay? Because, yes, you may have head knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. And you're telling yourself, oh, I believe in him. But when you believe in him, that's not enough to just believe in him and just to know him. You have to be Christ-like. You must be following him in his ways. 
And I'm not over here condemning nobody or trying to make like I'm perfect to the T and I got it going on. But I'm going to tell you right now, I know who perfect to the T and I know who got it going on. And that's Jesus Christ and that's why I follow him. Yes, there's things I need to work on. Yes, there's things you need to work on. But the thing is, you need to get yourself right, straight and correct and align yourself with the one and only. The one and only one who can offer you true peace, who can offer you salvation, who can offer you everlasting, eternal, undying, unfading, love never change, shake, wither away, and will be standing forever and for eternal. And that's Jesus Christ, the word of God, and his love. Okay? Seek him and search for him and draw near to him now while he is still able to be found. Okay? We don't have eternity here in this lifetime. This lifetime is to prepare for our life, for our journey when we with him in the kingdom of heaven. It's for us to prepare for when we in the Father's house. Praise God. This life is not over here for us to just run around, frolic around on this earth and be, try to be whatever this world is pulling our strings for us to be. We need to wake up, praise God. We need to wake up, open your eyes, okay? Open your eyes, open your ears, stop, stop numbing yourself out. So what? Uh, I know so for acknowledge. I know so for accept. But that's the only way you can truly know who you are. There's people out there who, who think they know, but they don't know nothing. Guess what? I don't know nothing either. And that's why I put my trust in the Lord because He knows all things. Because He searches my heart. So at least if I seeking him diligently and consistently and I doing my best to be the best person that I can be for him, okay, praise God, for him, then I am in, I'm walking in the way that I ought to, okay? I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect, praise God. Thank you, Jesus, that I got you, Lord. For you see me and you know that I am not perfect. But in your eyes, I am precious. But in your eyes, you love me more than anybody could ever love me. Praise God. God loves you so much. Don't let nobody put you down for the things that you have done. You, all you got to do, okay? All you have to do, okay? All you have to do is give it to the Lord. Amen. Repent, you lift them up to the Lord, you repent and have the willingness in your heart to be right with Him and surrender. And do know that the Lord knows that you're not going to be perfect in this walk. But He wants you to have trust in Him, have faith in Him. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord knows. The Lord knows that you're not going to be perfect. The Lord knows. Praise God that He knows. You're not alone in your suffering. You're not alone. You never were alone and you never will be alone. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for making the way. The Lord knows everything that you've been through. The Lord knows every label that someone has slapped on you. The Lord knows. But you have been healed by His stripes. By His stripes, you've been healed. Amen. And the Word of God is a lamp to your feet. For you shall not be wandering around not knowing where to go. He leads you. He is a good shepherd. Praise God. No blemish. He had no blemish, but yet his walk was perfect, but yet he died on the cross, but yet we were sinners at that very moment and we are still sinners today. Don't let no one deceive you thinking that 
These people who think they're walking around, they're all holy moly. Or they're better than you because they know more than you. That's not true. Who knows you better than you? Jesus Christ. Who knows your heart better than you? Jesus Christ. So if the Lord knows your heart better than you, but you get out of people putting you down, slandering you, people who hate you, people who hurt you, they think they know you, they don't even know their heart. But who know their heart better than they know their heart? And who know your heart better than they know your heart, the Lord? So that's why the Lord says, trust in me and cast your cares and your concerns onto me. Why? Because he knows what to do with that. He knows you not perfect on your walk. He knows they not perfect on their walk, but he loves us all the same, praise God. And what he asks of you, he asks of you to love one another. Love one another like I have loved you. Amen. All these shenanigans that's been going on in this world is just some distraction. So you can get tripped out, fall in that pit again and again and again. But God loves you so much and he has so much grace and he is full of true peace that he has his hand reaching down, reaching down for you to grab a hold of. Why? Because he loves you. Amen. So if you're one of those people who like to cast a stone, look in a mirror and take a good look and notice the Lord know your heart better than you know your heart. Okay. The Lord search your heart. Why? Because the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jesus Christ knows it. Praise God. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Woo. Okay. I'm going to read verse 10 now. Okay. We stand Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 10. It is written. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Praise God. Amen. So the, the Lord will give you one try. Okay? You know, like on the horse, get the reins, right? The reins on the horse. That sees, you know, controls which way the horse goes. You can feel the power of the horse and everything in the reins. You connecting with the horse and the person holding the reins, you the one who controlling everything. But Jesus is not going in there to try the reins of your heart to control you. He going in there to feel, to connect, to search, to seek. What is going on in there? Amen. is good so I the Lord search the heart I try the reins even to give every man every man okay every man according to his ways and what the Lord says not to judge amen not to judge so if you're judging he gonna give you according to your ways. Therefore, you will be judged. You pointing a finger at the speck in someone's eye when you get a big plank in your eye. Praise God. Why you think the Lord searched the heart? Because it is deceitful above all things. What you think come from here. What you say come from here. So the Lord, he gonna go straight to the root. And why the heart is the root? Because that's where Jesus dwells. For we are one in the body of Christ. Praise God. Okay? So to give every man according to his ways. And according to the fruit of his doings. The fruit of his doings. So have you been sowing good seeds? Or have you been sowing seeds that is 
You got weeds popping up everywhere. What is good seed? Hmm? Boom, you're sharing the you sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. You loving one another like the Lord says to love one another. You are doing the Lord's work. Amen. You're inclining your ear to the Lord. Amen. And when you give, you're giving from your heart and not one heart when deceitful heart, but you're giving one heart, you're giving from a heart that Jesus dwells in your heart. Praise God. That's the difference. The cheers, the joy, giving from your heart in the essence of you giving because you know. Yeah. You know, this person will not be able to give back to you, but you give because you know what it's like not to have. You give because you want that person to know and allow God's glory to shine through in the middle of that encounter between you and that person. And you're not only giving food and water to nourish his body, but in that moment of you giving, you also share the good news of Jesus Christ. You share your testimony, you share your story, and you enlighten them and share with them and let them know like, hey, I know what it's like to be in your shoes, but you know who would help me stand? You know who would help me and surrender and who would I'm going to pour my cup out to and who and fill me up with living waters. Therefore, I will never thirst again. Jesus Christ. So when you share and you're giving, you're not only feeding and nourishing the body. But you're feeding the soul with the word of God. You're feeding everlasting and eternal living waters by sharing Jesus Christ and what he's done for you. Praise God. God is good. We already know what it, what what sowing weeds is all about. Okay, doing hurtful, hateful things to one another. Okay, if you know nothing nice to say about yourself, don't say it. If you don't have nothing nice to say about your neighbor. Don't say it. If you don't have nothing nice to say about anybody, whether it's regarding the way they live, regarding what they believe in, regarding about the way they dress, regarding about the things that they do personally in their own life or the way they operating or the way anything that is not good, you sowing weeds with those words that never start from here, come out of here, but never start from here when start from here. And that's why the Lord search your heart because he goes straight to the root. He goes straight in there. He tests the reins and he know you better than you know yourself. He know you better than your oppressor. He know you better than you think you ever did know about yourself. Okay. For those of you who think you were a good person, being a good person is not enough for you to go into heaven. Being a good person is not because, oh, you have manners, you kind, you let people go front of, ahead of you in line, or oh, you, you don't talk bad about nobody, you you nice, you know, and all of that. That, that That's not good enough for you going to heaven. Or oh, you give um, $50,000 away to a charity, that's not enough for going to heaven. Because one, you cannot buy your way into heaven. Two, Jesus Christ already will pay full price for you. Three, all your suffering is not in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. For he has bore all your sins on the cross. He has already prepared the way for you. He is the one who is a lamp to your feet. Amen. He is the one who knows you and all your sufferings and all the pain that you ever been through and every single finger that was pointing at you and every single strike that you received and you fell to the ground. The Lord was right there with you. You need him. The Lord is the only one who can take you from where you at to where you truly belong in the kingdom of heaven. 
But it takes more than just believing in Him. It's having faith, trusting, and leaning on Him. It's about repenting, yes? Repentance is to ask the Lord for forgiveness. Ask Him for forgiveness for all the things that you have done. Lord, forgive me, Lord, for not looking to you, Lord, and to running to other things. Idols, okay? Idols. You do not want to be conformed to this world. Yeah? Don't follow and do what everybody else is doing. Be who the Lord will create you to be. And how are you going to get to know who you are? You're not going to get to know who you are by just watching my videos. You got to go read and go search. You got to go take up your sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit is the word of God, which is sharper than any double-edged sword that is of and in this world. And Jesus Christ is the flesh, the word in flesh, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ was with our Heavenly Father from the beginning, yeah? And the Lord has been with you from your very beginning. Whether you have seen Him, acknowledged Him, He's been there with you. He see you, He know everything concerning you. The Lord know the full story. The Lord knows the full and complete story that no matter who it is and what they've done, the Lord has done it all for us. Praise God. I'll show you guys my painting I did the other day. Let me hold on. Go back. Go back. So, this painting right here, obviously, yes, this is a cross, okay, so, this, all these colors and stuff like this was covering the whole canvas, because this is a painting that I made years ago, okay, when I was in the beginning of my healing stage, okay, when I say the healing stage, I'm talking about when I took it upon myself to take a break from working, um, how do I say it? I wanted to start working on my healing, like giving my body a rest because I've been working, working, working. And I shared that in one of my videos where I had the condition of my bleeding and I bled for years and years and years, okay? So when I was taking that healing, that break, I would paint for help me to um, creatively express myself and to be able to get what I was feeling outside of me because it felt like it was been trapped all my life, you know? I wasn't able to say what I felt because I, people would get offended, people would... I was basically surrounded by narcissists pretty much all my life and... Um, when you when you are not able to express yourself you can feel like you're going crazy because people make you feel like you know like oh they won't allow you to validate they won't validate the way you feel you know what i'm saying they'll put you down for the way you feel tell you stuff like oh you shouldn't feel that way but um you just did this and this that's why i feel this way you know well anyways long story short okay let me not get beyond here forever about that so this canvas I worked on it the other night okay so I added these colors the Lord I just did a video about um I did a video the video was called um identity theft was that night that I did this I am awesome this is the Lord God is so good God is so good okay this is true story okay guys this is true story so I'm going to share this with you guys. So this canvas, I worked on this canvas years ago. So what you see in the cross, all those colors and everything was all over the whole canvas, okay? And what that one represent was, at that time, I didn't have a strong relationship. I wasn't working on my relationship with the Lord. But that is that was one desire that I had in my heart that I wanted to. And I just didn't know where to start. I didn't know where to begin. So therefore, I was painting to try to get stuff out. I was trying to figure it out, but I was doing it on my own at that time. The Lord was there, watching over me, guiding me through, yeah? 
So I did a video, the identity stuff one, just uh, the other day. So that night, after I did the video, I came downstairs. And then the Lord brought this painting to my attention. And I had this painting in my bathroom downstairs. And I went in there, I just grabbed it off the wall. It's like I knew what I was doing, but then I was just like moving automatically. Like the Lord just was moving through me. Okay? So I just pulled the canvas off the wall. I brought it over here by my where I get my paint and stuff. And I just started squirting the, the blue and um, king's gold is the color that I use. King's gold and this blue. I forget the name of the blue, but I started squirting blue on there and then I squirt the gold. And then I just started going like this on my canvas. I just started going like this. So I used my hand. Okay. I didn't use no paintbrush. I just used my hand and just started spreading the the paint all over and I didn't know what was going on what I was going to do but I just felt inclined to do that the Holy Spirit was like just go ahead and cover this up so I did and then I went and grabbed some toilet paper and then I went I thought for a second I wanted to because I like painting trees but then deep inside the Lord was like no not one tree and I was like oh I know so boom I just went like this with the toilet paper okay and then I went and I was like whoa I was like wow I was like praise God I was like thank you Jesus so all of this all of this over here okay all of this is a remembrance of that the Lord got you covered. And all of that that people cast on you, those stones pointing out your flaws or your sins. Because even those who cast in the stone, they're not perfect too. They're sinners too. They sinned already by one just judging you. Two, they're probably doing the same thing what you was doing or have done something that you have done and they want to point the finger at you. But you see this? The Lord has borne all of that on the cross. Okay. The Lord has borne all of our sins on the cross. Okay. So boom. So I said, looking at my painting, I just like, wow, Lord, so awesome. Okay. So I also would add some more blue over here, and I was just rubbing them in. I'm using my hands, okay, rubbing them in. And then I said, looking at my painting, from a certain angle, went over here, it looks like Jesus' face from a certain angle, okay? I, it's not going to probably, you're not going to be able to tell on the camera, but if I'm standing on this side and I look it from an angle right over here, it looks like Jesus' face. Then I see this over here, it looks like feet, and this kind of looks like a sword right here. So I thought to myself, oh, yes, Lord, you, the lamp, you are the lamp to our feet. And this over here reminds me of you have been healed by his stripes. By his stripes, you have been healed. And the blood, Jesus' blood, okay? Jesus' blood. And the Lord has ascended into heaven on the, in, in, the ha in the right side, okay? In the hand of God, right? He has ascended to heaven. Because this is on the right side. I know, I use it in my camera, so it's flipped. But anyways, and up here... It looks like there's someone standing up here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but all right, there. I'm kind of see. But see, like the way I see is different from how other people see. Okay, because like this is just how the Lord showed me stuff. Okay, but right here, it kind of looks like somebody's standing right there and they're holding a sword up. And I thought to myself, Amen. Yes, Lord. It's like a reminder, yeah. One, the Lord is the one who fight for you. Two, God is good, okay? To remind you to always apply the full armor of God on. Okay, gang? So, boom. I realizing all of this and I just look at my painting and I just feel so good because the Lord just went confirm everything 
everything I've said in my video. And it's almost, it's like, this is how he works. He's so awesome. Then I will remember in the back of my painting, and mind you now, my video I was talking about how our identity is in Christ Jesus. Okay. And I did this painting years ago. And just the other night, the Lord had me cover them. And then I'll wipe off right here to make the cross. And then and it shows what the Lord has done for us. And that all the sin that he has bore on the cross. Amen. So the Lord went. He never conformed this painting. He transformed it in his holy and mighty name, Jesus. Then the Lord will blow my mind with this one. Okay, check this out. And I did this years ago now, okay? And the Lord just went go cover this out of there. And look what I get in the back. My handprint that I put in the back of this painting years ago. And this was the night of I did the identity theft video. Oh man, I was just blown away. I was like, Lord, you're so good. Thank you, Lord, for always confirming and showing up. And oh man, God is so good. I just was so happy. I stood and stared at this painting for a while and I couldn't stop smiling and I started playing music and I started dancing and I was singing and I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. And I wasn't dancing to the cross now, okay, don't get me wrong. I wasn't dancing to the cross. I was just so happy because it's like, Lord, I hear you. Lord, I see you. I feel you moving. I feel you working, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord, for aligning everything up, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Speaking to me through the Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading me and guiding me through. Amen. Praise God. So the Lord brought this back into my remembrance. The Lord went go guide me to cover this painting. Had me remove this right here. And would show me and started speaking to me. And I saw that and I thought to myself, Lord, you're so good. God, you good. And when I would realize and my handprint was in the back of there I realized Lord you're so awesome I knew he was awesome already but I was just like blown away that's how amazing our God is we serve a living God amen we serve a living God amen amen God is so good I go put this back up on my wall, okay? So with that, I hope you guys are having a beautiful evening, and I hope you guys um been enjoying all the videos and everything. All right. I know I wanted to, I know I wanted to share that with you guys, but I just didn't know how I was gonna do it. You know what I mean? And um, God is good, okay? God is good. Jesus. You tell Jesus, take the will, and that's the kind of things he do, okay? And not only that, but the Lord does amazing things, okay? Amazing things. Give the Lord all the credit. Don't take the credit for anything that the Lord do for you, because I'm going to tell you right now, guys, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now. On your own, you will not have the strength to stand. On your own. You will not be able <clears throat> to walk through that valley and onto that mountain top and to the next mountain top on your own. You will not be able to stand against your oppressors, against the enemy. And the enemy is not flesh and blood. We know who the enemy is. And if you don't know who the enemy is, then it is Satan. You cannot handle the devil on your own. Mm -mm. You could have you and millions of soldiers, but not one of you guys is trusting in the Lord and you're not on the Lord's side, you're on his side. Okay? And you're not going to be able to take a stand. What may end up happening is you're going to end up taking a knee and you will spend eternity with that guy. You don't want to spend forever with that guy. 
One, he don't care about you. Two, he doesn't love you. Three, he wants to torment you for eternal, eternal, always with him. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, the only one who can give you true peace, the only one that loves you truly. See, the way we, the way we love, it's not the way the Lord loves. That's not the way the Lord loves. Look at how everybody moving, how they working, how they treat one another, how, how we're so quick to judge one another. They, people, what we do to each other, people was all of that maximized by a million. People did all of that to Jesus. But he still wouldn't love us all. And he still wouldn't die for us. That's love. The version of love that humans be given to one another is diluted. It's not even real. It's all ego-based. It's all oh, I, 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 I. With the Lord, it's I love you all the same. It's not I, 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 or Him, which He is. It is all Him and all about Him. But he reflects to you his true peace, his grace, his, his glory is shining from within you when you are able to receive him by faith. Believe on him. Trust in him. Seek him diligently and consistently. Cling to him with all your substance. For that way, when he searches your heart and he tries your reins, he will give you accordingly to what you have done, according to your fruits, according to your ways. Amen. God is good and his ways is righteous. So yesterday, I will share this with you guys because this is amazing. Okay? This is how the Lord works, guys. This is how the Lord works. So awesome. So yesterday, I did on video, stretch your wings, okay? So funny. I will share with you guys again. Okay? So I'm in my car, and I'm looking for my cell phone holder thingy when I stick onto my glass because I will be reading from my Bible. And it's hard to read from the Bible, hold your phone, and all of this. This is no. It's just, it looks like a sideshow trying to do all of these things and like, you know what I mean? I cannot juggle, okay? I cannot juggle, have no desire to juggle. I definitely don't want to juggle with my Bible and my phone, okay? So boom, I'm looking for my phone, hold their thingy, the one I stuck on my glass, I can put my phone and do my video, then hands-free. Cannot find them, okay? Whatever, I'm looking find them, okay, moving on. Well, I get tape. I get tape. This is MacGyver okay, action, okay? MacGyver action. So, boom, I get tape. I get the kind of tape. Don't you tape your bandages, okay? So, now, okay, Lord, we, you know, MacGyver, it's all good. We know all about this, MacGyver, okay? Shoot. So, boom, mind you, I get my AC running, okay? My car, I get my AC running. So, every time when the AC pump do a, like, kick on stuff, the thing, you know, you can, the car, like, the handlebar, bar, not handlebar, but the steering wheel, forgive me. Oh, Lord, help me. The steering wheel, the thing vibrate like this when you get the phone. So I have my phone taped to my steering wheel. So I had the tape going right across my screen like that and taped to my steering wheel. And then when the AC pump said the kind, the thing not making noise, but it's like vibrating a little bit. So my phone said vibrating on the steering wheel and then you can hear, I'm like, so boom, the whole time I'm doing my video, awesome message, everything. I'm stoked. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Boom. I try to watch them before I, I, I upload them, right? Boom. Once I heard the blue, I was like, Lord, help me. Oh, my goodness. I should have knew. I knew something was going to happen. But I was just so excited for doing my video that I would carry on and tape the thing. So I said, okay, Lord, I don't, I'm, I cannot redo this video. It is what it is. So help me find a way, Lord, help me how I can make this work with this freaking vibration sound. It ain't going to be like the focal and it's going to be, be a nuisance, okay? So boom. I went edit. I look what had my options. I hit sound and there's option where you can play back 
background music. I said, awesome. Found one that I like. Boom, I hit save. But it takes a, it takes a few minutes, okay? like maybe five minutes, even 10 minutes, depending, for the team to, to save. So boom, I'm waiting, waiting, boom, pow, okay, I play, oh, brah, too loud, now I gotta redo them again, not the whole video, but just adjusting the sound. I adjust the, the background sound, I say maybe about five times, okay? But the Lord work patience. The Lord teach you, and you learn how to do it better the next time. Amen. So, I cracking up at myself. And try my best not to like kick my own self in the butt for taping my phone to the steering wheel and leaving my car running but it was kind of hot so I needed the AC on and there's no point in rolling down my windows because if that's the case I might as well record in the house the whole point I would go to my car to record is to keep the noise out it's nice and quiet in there and I'm able to make my video without distractions okay therefore my own actions cause distractions see what i'm saying and when we can be aware of our actions and see that we can cause our own distractions we can look at it like okay lord you work in patience you teaching me one okay i aware of what it did and how i can do it better next time the lord don't want you to put yourself down the lord doesn't want you to give up the lord wants you to push forward be aware acknowledge and accept and praise God because he's good and he made the way for you amen see in that I learned that I grew a lot too just by how I working talking and interacting with myself before I used to be like real like a hothead you know what I mean short fuse a hothead I would get discouraged easily or I won't finish or follow through okay but in the name of Jesus, the Lord give me the strength. He is my momentum. Up and out of the valley, onto that mountaintop, to the next mountaintop, and to the next mountaintop. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so that's not it to my story. Okay, so boom. I play, I finally get the, the sound cherry enough. Okay, I can still hear the vibration thing in the background. So you know what, that's all right. But the music match perfect. The thing give the whole video, you know, we're nice tie in everything went full circle tie in perfectly so the name of the video was stretch your wings after i upload my video i waited for the thing you know power and all of that i go outside in my garden in the back and then i see this beautiful butterfly okay i kid you not i see this beautiful butterfly and he just went to land like right there in front of me. He kind of like flutter around me and he land right in front of me on the tree, on the bush by the side of my house. And he just stood there and he just was stretching out his wings. Stretching. I'm not joking, guys. I don't make this kind of stuff up, okay? So the butterfly says, stretching his wings, stretching his wings, stretching his wings. So I'm looking at the pattern of his wings. I notice this side of the wing is a exact design of this side of the wing okay so it's like a mirror so when the wings open you see this side get the same pattern as this side so i notice at the very end of the wing they have like this little thing wait one second let me see if i have oh, okay i have i just need this as an example okay like so this butterfly doesn't have it but on some of the butterfly i saw yesterday at the very bottom of over here they kind of like have this little long part that come like this on the end i know what you guys are talking about and i know you guys know what, i know what you guys are talking about you guys know what i'm talking about so on one side had that little part but on the opposite side they didn't have it so i thought to myself hmm oh i got um a little bit of wing damage on that side so i wonder if he was just resting yeah resting and then the Lord, the Holy Spirit told me, the Lord knows that your walk is not perfect. The Lord knows that our walk with Him will not be perfect. But in Him and through Him, He's the one who gives us the strength. 
Amen. For when if we do get tired, weary, and weak, wing damage, we know can push on. He's the one who helps us. He is our help come from the Lord. His strength, his strength is what we're operating on. When we are in our weakest moments, his strength is perfected in us. Praise God. So the butterfly is stretching his wings, is cruising on, resting. Amen. Resting. So the butterfly came with a message. Yes, stretch your wings. Stretch your wings. It's okay to rest. Don't give up. Yes. Your walk may not be perfect. But I am perfect. The Lord is perfect. And His love is sufficient for you. Rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Praise God. It's okay to rest. Don't give up. Don't be hard on yourself. It's okay to rest. And when you rest, know that you're resting in the shadow of the Almighty. Thank you, Jesus, for making a way. Amen. The Lord's love is sufficient for you. The Lord pours His grace upon you. Amen. Praise God. So this morning, I go outside and I'm helping my fiance. i carrying out um, his tools, helping him with his tools to the gate, right? I see the butterfly come through. And I go, oh, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, that's the butterfly from yesterday. And I'm just like, look at the butterfly. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then the butterfly, when I stop for a second where I could look at his wings, will confirm, like, yes, I am the one that you saw yesterday. Because I look and I could see his wing that he didn't have on his, um, if we're looking at his back, on his right side, he had the thing and on the left side he didn't have that little part so I knew for sure that that was the same butterfly um, and I was like oh so awesome that that just made my day and I was like amen thank you Jesus oh God is good God is so good well anyhow guys God loves you his love is sufficient for you you push through, you persevere in the mighty name of Jesus. And please go study and elevate your ears to the word of God for yourself. Do not take word for word of everything and anything that you hear in person, online, wherever it may be. You want to know God? You work on your personal relationship with him. He will reveal himself to you. He will show you. He will speak to you. He is already working for you. He is already working in you. But you really want to get that connection with the Lord. You really want to go from one mountaintop to the next mountaintop to the next mountaintop. You want to become sensitive to his voice, his hand in your life. You want to recognize him and all that you see around you and within you. You have to elevate your ears to the word of God. Okay? You elevate your ears. And when I say study, it's not for you to fill your carnal mind. Okay? Because you're not going to get to understand what the Lord is saying to you with your understanding. So you pray and you ask the Lord for his understanding. Amen? Okay? The Lord going to teach you patience. Amen? The Lord going to teach you how to move with his momentum. Amen? The Lord going to show you and help you and mend you, like how low me, low me you, so you can become sensitive to his voice, sensitive to the way he moves, so you can start moving like he moves. Amen? Amen. So do know, when you are consistent, you're going to get better and better at it. We're not working and walking to be better than anybody else we're working and walking with jesus so we can be better than who we were yesterday because the lord is transforming you making you into a new creation through the mighty name of jesus 
He's the one gives you the strength to turn away from your old ways. The Lord knows you are not perfect in, the, in your walk with him, but he is the one who's perfect in your walk. So you follow him, praise God. He is the lamp to your feet. Okay, Ohana, God bless you. Go ahead and elevate your ears to the word of God. Stay in prayer. Apply the full armor of God on, okay? God bless you. Go share the word. Share Jesus' love with one another. Hug yourself. Hug another. Tell them Jesus loves them. God bless you. And you guys enjoy this beautiful, blessed day. Amen. Aloha.